Scorpio, welcome to yours and theirs. This is a energy reading between you and somebody significant in your life. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a boss. This could be um, family, a friend, neighbor, coworker. It could be anybody that you can consult uh, that you have some kind of relationship construct with. This is somebody who is having an impact on you now. And keep in mind that this is not a personal one-on-one -on -one reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate at all, catch you next time or check your other placements. And with the two sides, your side, their side, switch it and reverse it where it applies. And the last thing is sometimes the combined energies can dwindle down to a single energy or it could be all one per one sided energy. I will know that when I get into it. So let's get going. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button. I know I keep promising this and I am going to do this. I'm going to be uploading more often. <laughs> uh, my other channel has taken a lot of time, especially with the current um, true crime cases that I am covering over there. So it, I'm trying to, I had some time today and I got all my personal readings done, my YouTube readings done. So I had some time this afternoon and I'm sitting down trying to punch out as many of these as I can. You're the third one for today. Congratulations. And if you're new to my channel, if you're new to me, um, what I often do is as I'm shuffling, I make small talk. I bullshit. You know, I just talk because it takes my mind off the cards and the car and I don't overthink the shuffling. That's why I gab, gab, gab sometimes. But uh, the cards are feeling just about ready. So I'm going to ask them, show me Scorpio and their person. Show me Scorpio and their person, please. Something tried to flip. Not sure what it was. I'm sure it'll come out if it was meant to. Now, before I pull cards, if you're offended by birthday suits, you may either... Just want to listen and not watch the video or click off of it because both decks of cards are love and intimacy themed and there are both birthday suits. Okay. So just wanted to warn you of that. Okay. If I got my deck upside down. Okay. You've got desire. This is a uh, number seven. This is the chariot actually. It's called desire here. Nine of Coins. Did I shuffle? I might have shuffled something here crazy. And we've got Power, the Emperor card. You're showing me right out the gate that you have a desire to be large and in charge. Uh, I'm not saying that you're a control freak. But you, your attitude is you're better off single than allowing somebody else to control you. You believe in making your own decisions. You have your own construct here. Uh, the emperor energy is also one of protection. Uh, and this just feels like you are protecting your own individuality, your own independence. You're trying to maintain that. And while I'm trying to move forward in a certain direction. Upon clarification, we'll see a little bit more about what that is. Your person's energy is the king of coins. He's the one with that somebody that is well established. Okay, six of coins. You're dealing with a very generous person, it feels like. Four of arrows. Contemplating. So... You're dealing with somebody who's contemplating how they, what they are investing in, what they are giving. This does feel like somebody who gives without thinking. Like I said, switch roles where, where it applies. So we have you over here, one that is trying to protect your individuality, your independence here, not wanting anybody to rule over you uh, as you move forward in a certain relationship. And we, in who you're moving, who this is moving towards, it seems like the King of Coins and the Six of Pentacles, Pentacles Six of Coins, 
is somebody who's very generous and very giving. Four of Swords could be somebody who thought who's contemplating or not acting. This might have been somebody who is very who came off very generous, very giving, very down to earth, very protective, who may not be acting right now, who may be um, literally taking a time out. So you got somebody who may uh, the person you're dealing with may have be taking a time out from this connection. You and I'm feeling power struggle here let's see what your combined energies are seven of cups options illusion six of cups somebody um maybe even fantasizing the past was this somebody from your childhood or something something like that that you've connected with six of arrows six of swords um uh, Trying to get through the storm into calmer waters, trying to move things forward. This does feel like a lot, thinking about a lot of memories, going down memory lane. Um, a lot of nostalgia here. This is, uh, if this feels like the desire, it's a desire for the way things used to be. Okay. Something feels like it has shifted, it has changed. person you are dealing with may not be as giving or given to the connection as much as they used to. And it's a cause of concern, which is putting you in emperor mode, you taking control and protecting your own stability, your own independence here. Um, you may even be displaying a little bit of caution about moving forward any further. But there seems to be this daydream, this nostalgia of the thing of yesteryear, of yesterday, and wanting to, it feels like wanting to get. The six of arrows, I can't deny them, wanting to get back to, way things, to where things used to be. And I feel like that's a little bit of both of you. I think that where the contemplation part is, um, the person is kind of thinking, whoever you're dealing with, maybe thinking that it's wanting that fair exchange. And maybe something doesn't, I don't know if it's a fair exchange anymore. But they're kind of really thinking about this connection and, and the way that they are interacting with in the way they're investing in it and they may be a loaf right now and not doing a damn thing because of it um, the seven of cups often represents dreaminess daydreaming it's not really based in reality sometimes it can mean options in love you may eat, someone or both of you may be looking at other options or there's somebody maybe thinking about a connection from the past. This could even be two separate connections. But for most, I feel that it is, can we get back to the way things used to be? Okay. Now, I kind of want to look at what this desire is. Um, what is this, you know, this protective mode? of protecting yourself being a little bit stern you may even be setting some boundaries here but you're protecting you is you're you're standing you're trying to stand up and protect yourself here and there is a certain desire I need to protect myself moving forward. Um, let me get a little bit more info on this. Um, show me this desire, this chariot, eight of swords, the lovers. This is definitely soul bond, and it's not an easy soul bond. Five of wands. Okay, what this is telling me is moving forward. You, what you're protecting yourself uh, from from moving forward is you're, you want to make sure that you're not going to get yourself stuck in a connection or a situation that you may have difficulty getting out of. You don't want to get involved in something negative and it feels like that there's a lot of conflict and the lover's card is also not only soul bond, it's also a choice. So you're trying to make away your decisions. You may even be weighing your options, trying to make sure that you don't get caught up into something that um, you may have trouble getting out of. 
um, and you're trying to step into your power here Let's take some kind of control of this connection with um, page of wands you're speaking your truth you're speaking your boundaries justice um, and the fool um, this feels like you're t you're telling this person that things are going to be done my way from here on out or I'm making the choice to go to move on and start over so to me it almost sounds like that you are snapping into a reality here um, and maybe even feeling like and questioning whether things are going to whether you could get back to where things used to be let's take let's clarify their side here um, they're contemplating about, about there is definitely contemplation here they're in thought and they're putting a kind of like a hold on giving any more than what they've given it seems like they're put they're, they're taking a time out from giving to this connection so let's find out why why are they taking a time out here get when given to this connection why are they taking a time out here two of wands they're at some kind of crossroads here nine of swords this is a crossroads a decision that they're that they are agonizing over knight of pentacles caution they're ex they're exhibiting some sort of caution in this um I, f I felt that there was a power struggle here with you exhibiting your own power with you stepping into your power and demanding that respect or demanding some kind of change uh that is create that is probably part of the conflict i feel like you're dealing with somebody who is used to running the household and not and not sharing responsibilities or not sharing decisions and they're kind of slowing things down okay so why are they why is what is this decision I want to know what this decision is what is this decision three of cups connecting two of cups five of cups I was just thinking five of cups because I saw three plus two is five and there it is what they are contemplating about a decision it's a decision about this feels like letting whether to let go of this connection or not and I can't shake this feeling um, they're quite kind of questioning about putting effort into your connection anymore and I did see that there is a crossroads a decision that they are agonizing over and they're proceeding with caution because I feel I'm sorry Scorpio but I feel that there could be a third party here or somebody else of interest that it's almost like they don't want to hurt you uh, it's almost like they, they don't want to make they don't want to live with regret over something it might be where some of this nostalgia is coming in that not, um, that this could be two separate meanings for the same line that I you might be saying I, I would rather I would like to get back to where things used to be but at the same time there might be other options here that somebody from their past could be moving forward or coming in and that it, that's what it honestly that's what it feels like it feels like they're agonizing over the decision who do I choose who do I choose you want to get back to the way things used to be and that's going to be very difficult because there, there seems to be some lingering memories that somebody 
is thinking about in regards to a past connection. So they're kind of, I think that they're kind of, I, I got to put it out there. I think they're re thinking about reconnecting to somebody else from the past. And that's why they're not putting in the, the effort that they once did. So let's kind of take a look at your combined energy here about, I want to know if this is somebody coming in or if this is getting back to where you are. Knight of Wands. This is, this is incoming. This is incoming. High Priest is very quiet. They, she or he that knows but doesn't speak. Somebody knows that there's another connection coming in, but they're not talking about it right now. King of Wands. Whatever this is, this lights them up. This could even be you. Like I said, take it as it resonates, switch roles where it applies. But this feels like a, con a secret connection coming in. It came in very suddenly that somebody's Labuda got raised. You know, somebody's interest. Um, there's a lot of desire here. Um, heavy desire. There could be a physical connection, if you know what I mean. Physical, physical, physical. Um, there's that Seven of Cups again. Confusion, options, daydreaming, Ten of Swords, disappointment, loss, pain, Two of Pentacles. Because I feel like whatever this, pa this, is, this is definitely a past connection. Um, no, and what I'm get the storyline that I'm getting here is meanwhile you're suffering a lot of heartache and pain maybe even feeling betrayed here because your person's not giving to the connection the way they used to and you keep on dreaming and hoping that you guys could get back to where you were and there's a teeter-tottering back and forth do I leave the baggage behind do I pack up and go or do I stay put and keep on trying? Because as you move forward, you're displaying caution. Absolutely. And there's this fear from you of losing yourself. If, or maybe you've, some of you may have already lost yourself in this connection. And now you're at a point where you're starting to get yourself back. Do I let myself get drawn back in and continue on? Or do I pack up and I go? Meanwhile, they have something else here, and this might even be part of your apprehension about moving forward while you're displaying caution, because perhaps this person has a pattern of that, of going back to exes or finding new partners. Um, whoever you are dealing with, I don't think is, I, th I get this energy that they're not used to being alone, um, that they've always had somebody and not spent a very much time as being single whoever this is they feel dependent on the other person on an emotional standpoint they they don't want to it's like single life doesn't suit doesn't look good on them in their eyes quite honestly they they should probably try it actually but singlehood doesn't look good on their eyes it does on you you don't have a problem with being single but there seems to be an overlap of cups and some some of you may have had uh, there may have been when you first got together some unrealistic expectations and that led to disappointment and heartbreak but whatever this past connection is that's coming in there was heart, there was disappointment and the betrayal there also this is why i said this person that you are dealing with has a history because whoever they are either it is rushing in or they are trying to pull in. Whatever the case is, there is a shroud of secrecy. Very hush-hush. Something isn't what it appears to be. They may tell you one th that is one thing and it's something else. But whatever this is, this is a past connection that ended very painfully and 
th the two of pentacles with is going back and forth with that too you both have a seesaw effect going back and forth one minute you want the connection the next the connection you to you that you guys are currently in the next minute you don't then you're back on then you're back off this feels like a fucking roller coaster boy i'm hoping i am 10 minutes in i should be but it feels like a roller coaster and it's and a roller coasters will take its toll if you know if you stay on that roller coaster guaranteed it's going to upset your stomach and you're going to lose your contents you know you're going to be puking your guts out. You're going to be sick if you're unhealthy. If you stay on a roller coaster. You can't stay on that roller coaster too long. But it doesn't help where there's a third energy involved here. And I don't feel that this is new energy. This is something from the past. Okay. Get uh, any additional insights, please? Any additional insights? Damn wind. <laughs> yeah, I thought this is a beautiful day. Um, thought I'd do my re do readings outside, and all day it's been calm until I came out to with my cards, and I'm like, yeah, figures, my luck. It's always this way. It's calm as calm would be until I bring out cards. Then Mother Nature says, oh, let's fuck with Jen. Okay, you got the elder. So there is some wise counsel coming in, either from your ancestors or somebody in your family trying to counsel you, book a destiny about you writing your own destiny, then not allowing your destiny to depend on a certain person, that you, whatever you make of light, whatever you, you make of light, what you, um, how, how's that go? Um, life is what you make of it. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. And this is about maybe even, you might even be having somebody trying to counsel you. Or there, there seems to be somebody older and wiser trying to say, you know, you've got your life, rest of your life ahead of you. Um, you may be having somebody even trying to push you into starting a new book or a new chapter. Finishing this off. Downfall. It, downfall is a loss. It's letting go. So I feel like, well, if this is not, if they're an ex situation, there could be somebody counseling, whether they're counseling you or counseling them. But somebody is talking into somebody's ear. Somebody older and experienced is saying, it's time to let this go and write a new chapter, write a new book. That's what I'm getting. Um, let's get some self-care advice here. For you, Scorpio. You know that if it's if it's not somebody talking to you or talking to them, counseling, this could even be your inner voice saying, you know, it's time to let this go. Let just let it go. Write a new book. Write a new chapter. The downfall might it may be it is disappointing. It's similar to Five of Cups energy, actually. It's like a cross between Five of Cups and Five of Pentacles energy, where it's a loss, it's giving up, it's losing something, it's letting something go um, in order to r start over, write a new chapter, to have a better life ahead. Okay, open yourself up for new experiences. Okay, um, we've got... Born to stand out. This is like if you if you don't fit in, um, stand in your own power and be proud of your individuality. This is kind of telling me that you're not fitting the narrative of this person. 
Um, you're, you are you, Scorpio, and it's not fitting their narrative. And your advice is you need to stand up, stand out, be yourself, step into your own power, and be proud of who you are, even if it doesn't meet their approval. Nutrition. Um, this feels like, um, to me, makes me wonder if this is affecting your eating habits. Um, somebody not being able to eat over this. But moreover, this is about being healthy, in healthy relationships. Something that's going to nurture your soul. So this is, this is pretty much saying be proud of who you are in nurturing your soul. And stop focusing on the situation. Then there is the need to take a step back back and look at things you're focusing too much on it you might be obsessing over this connection and it's time to put the focus back on you and not the connection if that makes sense and it's time for you to step into your power uh, I see you doing a little bit of that there um, and that's good that to see that but seeing where, where the other person's coming from there is some kind of interference um, there is somebody from the past that's still lingering around or, or coming. I feel like they're moving back in. Uh, they're coming back into the situation, which doesn't help at all. But your higher self, your, your soul, and you feel, the Scorpio I'm talking to feels like an, an old, wise soul. Doesn't mean you're old physically, but your spirit, your soul is wise. It's been through many lifetimes aren't learned many lessons and your higher self is kind of consulting you and and saying or you're consulting your higher self and being told let this go write a new chapter one that's more healthy and one that allows you to be you and to be proud of yourself and nurture yourself and focus on yourself and stop obsessing on this person okay but that's what I have for your Scorpio. I hope this helped. Comment as you see fit. I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in your next video. Love and light.